Hi guys, uh, my name is Lokesh and the title of my major project is Malaria Detection Using Deep Learning. Uh, so coming to the abstract, uh, malaria is a mosquito-borne par parasitic infection spread by a female anopheles mosquito infected by a plasmodium parasite. So it is a single cell parasite that multiplies among the human RBC or also known as red blood cells. So the, pro the whole concept of this project is like to detect malaria uh, using deep learning approach instead of a uh, traditional human being approach. So in this approach, we would create a web application and then we would uh, give a microscopic scopic blood image of a human being as an input to the model. And then it classifies it as uh, malaria positive or negative. So coming to the introduction, malaria is a disease of blood that is caused by plasmodium parasite, which, which is uh, transmitted through a female mosquito. And it can be transmitted from one person to the other person. So in this deep learning approach, we would be using CNN, also known as convolution neural network. As uh, the project we are, uh, have done is uh, dealing with images. So CNN would be great at dealing with images. So basically we would uh, work with different kinds of models such as VGG19, ResNet, DenseNet, MobileNet uh, and custom model. And coming to the existing system. So in the existing system, the, the malaria would be identified by a uh, clinical lab guy or clinical lab doctor by absorbing uh, or like by analyzing the microscopic blood cell of a human being and coming to the proposed system here we would uh, give the microscopic blood image to the model and then it classifies uh, whether a person has or is infected with malaria or not and coming to building up the model. So when creating a custom model, which takes input of the size 150 by 150, which is 150 rows in terms of pixels and 150 columns in terms of pixels. And three is a dimension. And the size of the kernel in CNN would be three by three metrics. And we would have like, uh, lot of filters 32 64 18 128 and 128 which are basically the depth of the neural network and a 2 by 2 pooling layer and finally like the custom model gave the accuracy of 95 percent and coming to the validation accuracy it is around 91 percent so basically this is a workflow of the project where we first uh, gather uh, acquire the image and then we would uh, split it into training and testing and then we would apply uh, algorithm on the trained data set after that we would uh, evaluate the metrics uh, evaluate the model with metrics such as accuracy precision recall etc and finally we would validate the data set on validation data set and finally come to the conclusion like what it would perform on uh, new data or how it would perform and coming to the conclusion so like basically malaria is a disease so so we are basically solving this problem using deep learning approach instead of at uh, a traditional approach where the clinical la uh, lab doctor would analyze it Uh, so basically this is the code. Uh, so in the first four lines, we would import the necessary libraries. And basically I have used, I have used uh, Streamlit for uh, creating the GUI of the application, web application. The reason I have used uh, Streamlit is that like uh, we can create web applications within a fraction of seconds. 
whereas uh, when we use django or flask uh, it would require us to like uh, start from the basic using html or css or javascript so this uh, streamlet dot write refers to like the title of the page and coming to the model path it is where the mod, uh, my mo uh, deep learning model is stored and coming to upload file we would take the input from this specific part which is a sidebar like when clicking a button it would open a dialog box from where we need to insert an image and coming to this on the the code on the 15th line is used to predict uh, is a predict button which is used to like classify the image and then coming to import and uh, the function on 19th line is nothing but uh, it takes the image and it pre-processes the image and the code on the 17th line is where we load our, our model into the python script and coming to this 33rd line uh, if the image is detected then we would like uh, access the image and then like we would display the image and then be, uh, below that we would like uh, prompt a message stating that whether uh, the person is malaria positive or negative Uh, so first I need to like attach the uh, data set for uh, folder where like uh, the main folder where my application is uh, present or stored. And from here, I need to type the command stream with space run space app dot py where streamlet and run uh, are the inbuilt configuration of streamlet and app.py is my python script where, uh, for running uh, or like for displaying the gui uh, so basically this is a uh, this uh, output of my GUI or the front end, also known as the front end of an application. So this is the title, Malera self classification and coming to uh, the left side where we can see a specific column where uh, there is a small uh, button uh, displaying that browse file. So from here we need to insert our images And after inserting the image, we need to predict it. And the result, this, this is the image uh, which I have inserted. And below this is the output of this image, which is basically malaria posture. and coming to uh, negative samples such as the images uh, which class which are being classified and as malaria negative sometimes uh, there is an issue of misclassification where you might insert an image of uh, blood cell which is actually positive but it might display negative or the vice versa case So even this is malaria posture, but in actual it is malaria negative. So, and hence like it is predicting as malaria negative. 